Pre-lab preparation. To prepare for this lesson, you will need two one-ounce cups, a taster spoon, magic sand, and water. First, put one spoonful of magic sand into one of the cups. Then fill the other cup halfway with water. Prepare one set for each pair of students. Background. Activities with magic sand. Demonstration. For this demonstration, you will need the oil and water bottle. Shake the bottle and allow the mixture to settle out into the two layers. Investigating hydrophobic and hydrophilic properties. For this activity, you will need one spoon with magic sand, one spoon with regular sand, a dropper bottle of water, and an aluminum pan for each pair of students. Tell students to add two drops of water onto the magic sand coated spoon and observe the results. Repeat the experiment with the spoon coated with regular sand and observe the results. Introducing nanotechnology. How big is your hand worksheet? Have students measure their hand in nanometers. More activities with magic sand. For these activities, each pair of students will need a popsicle stick, the previously prepared cups, and a dropper bottle of water. Tell students to sprinkle the magic sand from the one ounce cup onto the surface of the water. Take a wooden popsicle stick and push it through the magic sand and into the water a quarter of an inch so that the magic sand coats the popsicle stick. Add two drops of water onto the floating magic sand so that a large drop forms. Use the popsicle stick to mix the magic sand and water. Observe all results. Have students pour off the water from the magic sand back into the cup, leaving the sand behind. Magic sand and oil. The SBS team members will add two drops of mineral oil to the magic sand. Observe the results. Other practical applications. Cleanup. Magic sand contaminated with oil should be disposed of.